as its by rectangular method. First, we will draw major axis AD, then we will bisect, we will draw CD. Then we will complete this rectangle. We will draw vertical line from A and B and horizontal line from here passing through C as well as D. After that, we will divide line AO into equal parts. Now see what we have to do. We have to divide A and AO into equal parts. If we divide AO into 4 parts, I have to divide A into 4 parts. If I divide AO into 5 parts, I have to divide A into 5 parts. So let's say we will divide this AO into 5 parts. So we will divide A also into 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same here. This into 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, Dash, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Then we we'll join C to 1 dash, C to 2 dash, C to 3 dash, C to 4 dash. Then from D, draw a line passing through 1. So wherever it will intersect, that is point number 1. Same way, D to extend the line. Wherever it will cut, that is point 2. Same way, D to extend the line. Wherever it will cut, that is third point. D 4 extend the line. Wherever it will cut, that is 4 power. Now we can transfer the same point on this side. We draw horizontal line from here. Take this much radius, cut out this side. Same way from here. Take this radius, cut out this side. Again draw horizontal line. Take this radius. So what we are doing, we are transferring. Same way we can transfer this point down by drawing vertical line. And we take this distance, cut down. We draw vertical line, we will take this distance, cut it down. Same way, again draw horizontal line. From now vertical, from now vertical. Sorry, from now horizontal, from now vertical. So again, all these points and then join them 